Hi, I'm Russ, and uh, we had a problem here. I'm at my work, and uh, I wanted to show you my solution. So we got these bearings right here, and um, we, these go on the end of rollers, and we had a little small problem with the new ones we got. There's an old one, and you can see there's a lip cut. It's nice and square on here, and here's the new ones. They got this round, round lip on them, and... Uh, they won't go on the uh, the rollers the way we want them. So I decided to create a solution, and uh, this is my solution. I built this. Um, this is a uh, basically a homemade lathe. You see, I got my lathe bit right there, and uh, I made this contraption so we could hold the roller. I'll just give you a peek inside. I mounted it right here on this box, and uh, I've got a. Uh, it's 480 coming in, so I've got this transformer right here that uh, transfers this energy down to 120, and that's for control purposes. Uh, I've got a 24 volt power supply and uh, breaker, motor controller, and um, a few other odds and ends. So here I got my buttons: start, stop, and e-stop. All just one. So, uh, show you how this thing works. I got a 480 plug right here. Plug her in. Like so. And I'm going to hand the camera off and show you how this thing works. So, I got this bearing right here. And what I'm going to do is take this arm, lift it up. And I made this thing just pop one on and do it. And you're good to go for the next one. So this is all pre-set up for the right dimensions. So I slip that on there like that. Now I had a hard way, uh, hard time holding uh, holding this bearing and turning it at the same time. So what I did is I've got this rubber uh, wheel and uh, I actually made these O-rings, uh, vulcanized them. And I've got it hooked directly up to a three-quarter horse motor. And there's a bearing here which ties to this bearing. And then there's uh, an offset here, so I've got a wheel sticking out, so I've got a contact point. So basically, this sits right against here like that. Put this nut on here. Okay. Now this wheel is contacting with that right there. And uh, I'll go ahead and cut one, and then I'll show you the, uh, the table. I actually made this entire lathe table right here. It's two axes made out of some fine thread uh, uh, half inch bolts and nuts and a few other things. I got the shield on here because uh, these shavings are hot. So I got it plugged in, we'll start it. Oh, turn it on. So now we're running. Go over here, you can see it a little better. You can get close if you want and then refocus. Alright, so what I'm going to do is get my lathe table just right here. I'm going to trim this off. And now this bearing will fit flush onto my roller. There's my bearing. I'm going to set it down here and I'm going to give you a uh, close up so now you can see what it looks like. So there's the new bearing. You can see it's got that nice cut corner, clean cut corner on it, just like the original did. And uh, good to go. So anyway, 
That's my problem solving. <laughs> there you can see it a little better. Not focusing very well. Nice and clean cut corners now. I'll show you this lathe table. It's going to be a little hard to see. But uh, basically there's a nut in here and I uh, put it on a uh, shaft there so you can uh, crank it in or out. Works pretty well. Alright, this rust. Let's see.